Today, I'm gonna to be making Moroccan shepherd's pie. It is so delicious, so easy, and a little bit Southern, and you'll be seeing that in just a few minutes. I'm using venison for this recipe, and all the silver skin has been cut away, and all you see here is muscle. You want it really nice and brown. The caramelization on the outside of the deer meat is gonna give it a lot more flavor than if you have it kind of pale. So make sure you get it good and brown. And a cast iron skillet is always good for that. And this right here is what you're looking for. I'm gonna remove all of the venison onto a plate. Putting an onion and garlic. And I'm gonna stir these two together. Make sure the garlic doesn't burn. Just put a little oil in here to make sure that it doesn't burn. Or you can put the garlic in a few minutes after you put the onions in. I'm gonna add just a little touch of broth to speed these onions up just a little bit and to help the garlic not to burn. All right, now for the yummy stuff for the inside of this dish. I'm gonna be putting a little bit of tomato paste, uh, olives, honey, raisins, and turmeric. And that's what makes this dish Moroccan. Also gonna put the rest of my stock. Reduce until it's thickened. And you'll know when that happens, and you'll know it's time to stop. Turn off the heat, and then put in what my son calls circle peas. Well, when he was two, he's, he's old now, and he doesn't call it that anymore. Okay, I'm going to also put back in my meat. Now this dish is in my new book, Harvest, and it's easy to follow, easy to do. Now I'm going to put this into my pie dish. Now I'm going to add my sweet potatoes to the top of this. If you don't have sweet potatoes, potatoes, is they are just perfect and just as good. But I have a lot of sweet potatoes I need to use up. I'm going to add my southern sweet potatoes to make this a southern dish. So it's actually southern Moroccan venison shepherd's pie. In my bag, I have two large sweet potatoes whipped with two eggs. You can just slap it on here, though, and be done with it if you want to. It's time to put the pie in. It's in a 350 degree oven and it'll stay there for about hmm, 30 minutes. Everything's really practically done. You're just getting it warm and making the top get a little bit brown and beautiful. So when it comes out, it's gonna be gorgeous. If you're ever having company over, this is a good one. <laughs> 